Hey, it's been a few days since one of the most reliable leakers, Dylan DKT, shared some really promising leaks about few upcoming Apple products, especially the iPad. It's time that we summarize it all, everything that we heard so far about the upcoming entry-level iPad and why the upcoming changes are so important. Hi friends and welcome to this Tomaking channel. My name is Marco and this is your dose of Apple news, leaked information, tech rumors and occasional reviews. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button and don't forget to enable all notifications so you don't miss the next video. This one is powered by Moft. And starting from today till next Friday, you may win their Snap Tablet Stand. All you have to do is hit the thumbs up and leave a comment below. You may do it once, you may do multiple times on multiple videos. All the content that I make till next Friday. So good luck! We all know that a regular iPad has always been the most sold Apple tablet. And a matter of fact, the most sold tablet every year. An excellent all-around performer with familiar design has been tool of choice of many. Contradictory to my expectations, 2021 iteration did arrive with a processor upgrade to A13 Bionic. While I'm still hesitant to believe that the same may happen this year, Dylan DKT seems certain, at least according to his sources, that there will be one more processor bump in 2022. Frankly, I'm speechless if Apple opt to add more power to this next iPad. Let's hope we will see more system memory as well. Would not complain about 4 gigs just for sake of better multitasking. What is really pleasant surprise is that we should expect some other upgrades that normally are not part of enthusiast conversations, like Bluetooth 5 for example, or Wi-Fi 6. And yes, there will be 5G support too. With these specs, the entry-level iPad is getting closer and closer to what we should consider as mid-range segment. If you see one of my videos from previous year, I had a guess that 2020 iPad may be the last iPad with this traditional design. I guess I was one year early. If we are to trust the claims of Dylan, this year's iPad will be the one that will bury the home button forever, or the last model ever having it. Many will be happy with that decision, but there are users who will not be excited as much. The display size will probably remain the same, or 10.2 inches. Maybe that's a good thing. I think that some of you would want to see at least laminated screen and let me tell you, rightfully so. There were expectations that we will finally get the iPad Air 3 like screen diagonal which is increased to 10.5 inches. I guess if we are to trust this latest information, this will most definitely not happen, even if we heard few times about that being a possibility. Dylan did confirm that Lightning port is here to stay at least for one more year. Same thing we can conclude about Apple Pencil 1. Once the iPad completely gets rid of bigger bezels and the home button, we can also anticipate the closing chapter for the first generation Pencil, and that will be moment when it will switch to its successor. Till then I expect to finally see the third generation unveiled, which I will analyze soon, so make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up and turn on notifications. While Mark Gurman from Bloomberg already describes 2022 as the year of the record breaking releases, I think this is just a warm up for the chapter that is coming next year or maybe a year after. We are talking about the entry level iPad that will eventually become bigger, as expected better and more ambitious project obviously. The 10th generation iPad should be showcased in September along with the new flagship iPhone lineup. But let me tell you, as some of you may know, it looks like that already in March, we will witness the release of the next iPad Air series. Some initial predictions were pointing that we may see the iPad Air with the OLED display, which eventually has been postponed minimum to 2023 or most probably to 2024, sadly. The same with the iPhone SE. I'm talking about the real 
real next generation iPhone SE with changes, the one with the punch hole design. Therefore, I think that all of these devices, including the bezel -less entry level iPad, may appear all at once. But the true question is, which year exactly? That is the main reason why I don't have such high expectations. For the next year, with all due respect to Dylan, that was amazing with his leaks. It will hurt less. With that said, we will still witness huge improvements, including those in the form of Apple products that I've just mentioned. And we know at one point Cupertino Giant will press the end on that home button. The good thing is this will still be the subject, at least for some time. Don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment, and you may win Moth Snap Tablet Stand. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching this Tamaki channel. My name is Marco. Talk to you soon. Have an excellent day. Bye.